Thank you, Mr. Margaret. First of all, any animal that bites a human being should be classified as a dangerous dog. All we're doing by changing this ordinance, we're tracking the state ordinance. I think animals have, it's a natural, inherited instinct. I said natural impulse. Dogs chase cats, cats chase mice. I mean, it's a natural instinct. Now, I'll be very candid with you. My cat bit me so badly, I had to go to the doctor. I had to get 10 days of medication. Now, if I had to call Public Works to pick up my cat, it would be classified as a dangerous animal. And every year I kept that cat after being cured of that cat bite, I'd have to go to the county and pay $100 a year to keep that cat in, in my in its, its existence. Then I'd have to have a sign in the front of my house saying, warning, dangerous cat. Now that to me doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I've seen dogs chase cats. I've seen 9,900 cats turn around and, and bite the dog. Once in a great while you see a dog will catch a cat. It's nature. It's instinct. How many, how many dogs have chased cats in this county and never been reported? How many dogs have killed, killed squirrels? I had, I had a cat to kill a squirrel one time. I didn't call public works to tell them to pick up my cat to kill the squirrel. Well, would it include the squirrel? I don't know. But I, I don't think anybody should be, any dog should be classified as a dangerous dog by biting another dog. It's, it's an inherited natural instinct. Now, if that dog bites a human being, sure, he should be classified as a dangerous dog. I'm not through. <laughs> I, did, I did say there's $100 a year annual registration Plus, you have to have a warning sign on your property to let people know that you have got a dangerous animal on your property. And he has, he has to have proof of a proper enclosure. I mean, I don't know who he has to tell that he has a proper enclosure. I guess he'd have to report to public works. But I think, if I'm, again, I'll repeat, if an animal bites a human being, he ought to be classified as a dangerous dog. But there's just too many animals that have that natural instinct to chase. I've seen cats chase birds. I've seen dogs chase squirrels. I mean, I've seen hawks that come out and grab baby ducks. I mean, it's a, it's a natural inherited instinct. So that's why I say I don't think, I think we need to change the ordinance. Uh, I don't want to classify any dog as a dangerous dog unless he bites a human being. <coughs> I agree with that. My wife's dog got a hold of my cat, and that son was going to bit me, and I had to go to the emergency room. And I sure wouldn't want both of them. <laughs> I just think it's natural it's instinct. It, it's just natural. It's an inherited natural instinct for an animal. Listen, I, I, my, 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 my son comes over with a lamb and, and chases my cat all over hell's creation. You never caught that cat yet. But I mean, it's, it's just instinct that a dog is going to try to chase a cat. Some will, some won't. And then 99 times out of 100, you'll never catch that cat. This was a situation where, uh, I understand the situation. Don't even bring it up again, but uh, I just, this is my belief in it. This might be the last thing I'll say. <laughs> Commissioner Martin. Uh, go ahead, you're on. I'll just say, when a dog bites a human, we've waited too late. That's too many. One is one too many. We've got a proactive law in place <clears throat> that staff says it's working. I don't hear a reason to change it. Well, I appreciate your argument, Mr. Numbers, but I just believe that you're wrong. Bill, you have anything to say? Can we call for the vote? We've already got two votes. We just need to decide it, but Mr. Duffy. <laughs> Well, I, 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 we've already voted. I think we voted three. Those three, you had to vote on the second motion. Oh, we had to vote. There, there was a motion uh, that Mr. Williams made to adopt the ordinances before you. That was seconded, and that's what you're discussing at this point. Okay, so I need a motion to approve. Yeah, I'm not sure. You've got to make a motion. The motion's the already made and seconded. Okay. You're in discussion at this point. Motion. Okay. So the discussion being over, all in favor of the second motion. To adopt the order before, before us. <coughs> Three. Oh, you want to call? No, no, no. 
I hate to lose. All those in favor say yes. I yes. No. Okay. No. Three to two. Chairman, get back to the silent 10 years. Supporting the community's development block grant application for the Lake Acres subdivision road approvals. Mr. Wishes on the board. I'll make a motion to approve the resolution. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? I haven't said that to me. <laughs> Unanimous. Chairman and Commissioners, on page 72 of the package is a letter from Ty Bettis, who is the City President of the Holland Bank. Uh, <coughs> last year, uh, Parks and Recreation Authority solicited bids uh, to uh, refinance a loan for the Parks and Recreation Department of Grand Island. And uh, Heritage Bank a bid on this. Uh, today, not been able to work out uh, various uh, documents that are required. And uh, Mr. Bettis has told me uh, due to bank, federal banking regulations, he needs to approval uh, to renew uh, uh, the current note until such time as the details can be worked out. I discussed with Mr. Howard tonight in court of the banking laws, this needs to be done. I'll have the motion. All second. in favor? I'm second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Under Commissioner's Matters, the first item is uh, Commissioner Mudridge. Um, well, hopefully, most of the citizens of Lee County have received their census forms in the mail. Those of you that are at PO boxes, hopefully, you've received the census form from a United States census worker. Um, but many citizens have not. Um, based on some of our previous correspondence, uh, the, the United States Census Bureau has, has said that we should receive them no later than the 25th. So if you are a citizen and you have not received it, a resident, you have not received your census form by the 25th, I encourage you to uh, try to make an opportunity to see one of our uh, QAC, our, our assistant sites, our, uh, there's a manned assistance site Monday through Friday from 9.30, I think to 30 p.m. A gentleman uh, from Lee County, Wayne Wellman, uh, is a census representative and he can provide you with a census form. Um, from 1.30 to 4.30, Mr. Wellman is at the Page Start building. Hopefully we'll have some signage to help direct people there. But if you haven't received your census form by the 25th, I encourage you to make an effort to get one. Um, well, also, we don't know who's going to be there, but we do know we've been promised that uh, starting tomorrow, <coughs> there will be a representative at Smithfield City Hall. What were those times? 10 to 1. 10 to 1. So, uh, look for your census form. If you haven't gotten one, please make an effort to get one and let's get them completed and returned. Excuse me, Commissioner Mothers, I haven't received mine yet. I haven't either. Mm. Scared. I just think they'll be managing our health plan if they're wrong. No. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Shots are done. Quarter alive. Uh, I, do I need, I need a motion from someone on the board to 